Hi you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Yeah, I just wanted to update you guys because I feel like I haven't vlogged in a hot minute and I just been really busy like helping my sister with her wedding invitations and then we're also planning for her bridal shower and I just kind of want to vlog it all and show you guys. And yeah, we already picked out her wedding dress. We were all there when she said yes to her dress. So if you guys want to watch that vlog, I will try to link it up here. But I did vlog a lot whenever we did go wedding dress shopping because we stopped by multiple boutiques. I got all ready for the day because we are currently about to head out. I am about to stop by Whole Foods to see what kind of cakes they have because I really want to get a cake for her bridal shower and also some mini cupcakes. I'm also going to stop by Aries because i just been upset obsessed with how the flare yoga leggings look like but as for the wedding invitation i just been working really really hard to have everything go smoothly for my sister even though i'm not the one getting married i feel like it's still stressful on my part i can't even imagine for my sister i created this author canva and honestly canva if you guys are watching this please sponsor me because i freaking love your website so much i use it to create all of my youtube videos in like almost anything like infographic yet yeah, let me show you guys how the wedding invitation came out and to be honest it is so much cheaper to make your wedding invitation or anything on Canva and then order it through there because my sister was going to order her wedding invitation, I believe on Etsy, but it was $300. But her wedding invitation was just very simple and she just didn't want to spend that much. And so I told her, you know what, I have the Canva Pro, so why can't I just create it for you? So I went ahead and did that for her. And then, um, so yeah, let me show you guys her wedding invitation first. It's very, very simple, elegant. I love it. This is my sister's wedding invitation and this is how it looks. Like I said, it's very, very simple. I love how simple and elegant it is. And then on the next page, I have like all the details that she wanted me to add on there and then the registry and the website that you can like reserve for the wedding. And we are also trying to like come up with like a really cute hashtag for my sister and her fiance. And his last name is Thorpe, T H O R P E. It's kind of hard to like find like a really cute one but we just couldn't really find one for his last name so if you guys have any like ideas please share it with us it will be so so helpful I'll show you guys the bridal shower invitation that i created and oh my gosh it's so freaking gorgeous here it is this is the bridal shower and i went for like a pampas boho grass kind of theme and i really like how it turned out i just kind of got the inspo template off of like google and then just kind of like played around with it and this is how it went overall that is the update with all the wedding planning right now it's just been so stressful yeah, i'm excited to just bring you guys along with me on this like wedding planning journey because i just feel like a lot of people don't really talk about it like the stressful side um even though i'm not the one getting married like anytime soon i just like really want to like share like some things you can avoid and some things that are super helpful being like the maid of honor is already like super stressful as is but um yeah i'm going to stop talking now and um go to whole foods and let's go see what kind of cakes they have and just do a little bit of shopping. Quick little OOTD before we head out. So the top is from Princess Polly. My favorite jeans of all time is from Abercrombie. These are the 90 high-waisted ultra something, something, something. I forgot. But yeah, these are like the popular jeans that has been going viral. And then paired it with my Nike Air Force Ones. Stop. I just went to go take pictures for Instagram real quick, but I did buy um, one thing from Aries But I'm already wearing it right now and it's the crossover flare leggings. Let me show you guys um, I've been wanting these for the longest time and I finally got my hands on them. They're really cute comfortable I just like I'm like more of like a lounge girl now, so I guess that's why I wanted to pick these up so bad. Also, my favorite go-to Starbucks drink lately is Strawberry Ase with 
peach juice. Annie put me on that and I'm just so grateful that my Starbucks actually holds peach juice now. So if you guys want like a really nice spring slash summery drink, highly recommend. But um, I got my vases. I just been obsessed with tulips. They were so freaking cute. supposed to peel off the leaves do you think we're supposed to peel off the leaves like i thought i, I, thought I think we it. can <laughs> <laughs> well i'm like slowly doing it <laughs> like it you know it looks kind of weird like with with a lot of leaves yeah i don't want it to die <laughs> oh my gosh i feel like i'm about to get canceled for not knowing how to Oh no, they do take the leaves off. Oh, they do? Okay yeah. then. Oh my gosh. I'm not okay. gonna get canceled. This, this. All right, so I just changed. Now I'm going to put on my face mask for the night. So, um, I have to tell you guys something. <laughs> so, I was up this morning ever since like 4.30 a.m. Every time Jeffrey wakes up for work, he wakes up pretty early because he works first shift. And I just cannot sleep without him. So, every time he gets up, I just wake up immediately. Well, this past weekend, I really wanted to get my nails done. And none of my... My sister or my cousins didn't even want to go with me because, I mean, getting your nails done nowadays is getting really expensive. So, um, <laughs> I just did a lot of research last night and came across this TikTok video where this one girl was doing DIY gel nails at home. And she had all the links on her Amazon storefront. And so, guess what I did? I bought everything she suggested because also you guys can find her off of TikTok. Her username is Michelle KHXN. But I really love this design from her. I just love the way this one looks. And it looks really good. And she makes it look really easy. So I'm excited to try out this one. I think this is the first one I'm going to try to do. And then I really love this Kylie inspired nail look with the bedazzles on the fingernails. Looks really, really cute. And then um, I really love the Hailey Bieber inspired nails with the red hearts on there. So I did buy a few of those. Here are a few nail inspos that I found off of Pinterest that I really want to recreate because, oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. I spent over $150 off of Amazon this morning and I know I'm not too happy about it because I always talk about budgeting every single month. I just like did something really bad this morning and I should not have spent $150. But in the end, I feel like it is worth it because if I'm constantly gonna do my nails like every month, it's gonna be free technically. I'm about to head to work. So I'll bring you guys along with me. You guys, so I just made it on campus and I found one of the best parking spot on campus ever. My day has just been made.
those pretty eyes in your head, you know it You got me dancing in my bed, so let me show it You are exactly what I want, kinda cool and kinda not Wanna give myself to you, yeah, we're driving down the freeway at night just got back home from work and also the gym and I received my package all from Amazon to do my nails so let me show you guys everything that I got yeah I order a lot of stuff and there are still a few stuff that actually needs to come so the first thing I order is this UV LED nail lamp this is the exact one that Michelle has as well and so I just decided to get it this is just to help curate all your nails all at once and then I also got a nail clipper to clip the acrylics nail glue that is also from Amazon this is the brand and this is this is the nail drill bit that I ordered so I will unbox it to show you guys If I was going to continue doing this, I want to find an easier way to remove my gel nail polish easier um, They said that you can use like a nail filer and file it down that way, but it just takes a little bit longer So I'd rather just use a uh, nail drill bit for that um it, it's only 30 dollars which isn't too bad and then i order some gel nail polish this is just in the color white because you know my favorite color is white and i'm just a very neutral natural girl i'm pretty sure it comes with the set that i'm about to show you guys right now but that's what i got got some gloves to protect my skin from the uv light and then this is the set that i order off of amazon it's from the brand gelin or gelin gel gelion something like that but yeah let me show you guys everything that it comes with it comes with basically everything and i believe it was only 30 dollars for this entire set which is really good nail filer that it comes in and then let me show you guys the little uv lamp it's so adorable and then for some reason it comes with this clip but i'm pretty sure it's supposed to do something tassels i'm not really sure but I don't think I will be using this anytime soon. This is the gel extension and top coat primer and a nail dehydrator. This is, I believe, just a buffer, a nail buffer for your nails. Some acrylic nail tips. They do have other shapes if you guys want to go for like a coffin style, oval, whatever. But I decided to go for the almond shape because I really like that. This is my first time ever doing gel nails. So I'm not really sure how it goes. So pray for me you guys um so yeah let's go ahead and do my nails oil and moisture from the nail to avoid lifting <laughs> 